What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here and I'm coming at you with another update with Pork Chop. So, once again, apologize for there not being an update on Monday. Uh, I did have to uh, take uh, my father-in-law home with me and uh, I don't think he wants to be on camera. So I'm just, otherwise he would be right here on Mondays, right here in this seat. But uh, so today I'm flying solo on the way home. My Apple Watch is dead. Low on low on fuel, low on time, low on energy, and hungry. But anyway, so <laughs> um, so today's gonna be like a little hybrid video, mixed between channel talk as well as personal talk. Um, speaking of talk, let's go right off the bat with TikTok. I last week or the week before, I can't remember which. Um, I had my first TikTok video removed. And uh, I think we talked about this already. I think we talked about this already, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it again. Um, I made a TikTok uh, either last Friday or two Fridays ago where uh, I did the, uh, I did the, the uh, uh, sound of uh, the Nazi knock knock joke. I'm sure you guys have heard it, um, but uh, I posted it. And like almost instantly that day, I had it taken down because it was a violation of TikTok's policy. And I tried to dispute it. And my, my uh, reasoning was, I got this off somebody else. Like I didn't make this up. I didn't take this from anything. It wasn't really from a Nazi. It's a Nazi knock knock joke. If you guys don't know the joke, I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's actually not that bad. I guess since I used the word Nazi in the title and I used the hashtag Nazi knock knock joke, I think uh, TikTok instantly flagged it and was like, nope, this is this is getting taken down. But the joke, it's from The Office, I believe. Or no, The Office is KGB. The Office is KGB. But the Nazi knock knock joke is knock knock. And the person says, who's there? And you slap them and it says, Viva ask the questions. Yeah, that was it. Done. Video. Like that. Got taken down. And I'm like, okay. This is where the slippery slope happens once again. This is also something that's happened on YouTube. And I think it needs to happen on YouTube as well as TikTok. And that's, if you remove my Nazi knock knock joke TikTok, you got to remove all of them. That's just how I see it because the person I got it from obviously has way more followers than I do and way more comments and likes and all that stuff. And that's fine, that's cool. They've probably earned it better than I have. The issue I have with it is, is if it's just mine or just a handful of people and you don't take some of the people that are up there in the millions of followers on TikTok that are making some money off of it and you just leave it be, then that becomes an issue like on YouTube, uh, an example, a while back, uh, somebody had their gameplay completely stripped off their YouTube channel because it violated YouTube policy. And they're like, oh, damn, that sucks. My bad, I didn't mean to. And then they went on to uh, Markiplier or PewDiePie's channel and the, the whole entire gameplay was still up on their channels. And he's like, bitch. <laughs> That's kind of how I would feel, bitch. But uh, also, so that 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 happened. So I'm like, eh, whatever. I apologize. No big deal. Um, but uh, if mine goes down, then everybody else's goes down. Um, also, that being said, I did dispute the one because I tried to take down one of my videos where it was like, what's a personality trait that uh, you hate in people or or something like that. And my said, mine was. Uh, how about the fact that people th insist that bacon has to go on everything? And uh, I guess somebody reported me for hate speech against bacon. So TikTok was like, hey, this video is against our violation. And I'm like, how is it against the violation? And they're like, I don't know. It's just uh, against our, it, it violates our, uh, our uh, everything. It violates our, our, our purpose and it, viol it violates the constitution that is TikTok, and I said, "No, it doesn't." And they said, "Do you want to dispute it?" And I said, "Yeah." 
and like within a day they're like yeah there's we can't find anything um sorry about that your your bacon video stays up and i was like damn right it does <laughs> But yeah, so those are the uh, the TikTok uh, updates. Um, there is a channel update. Um, very bad news I have for you guys. Um, I ran out of time. I ran out of uh, patience, and I ran out of uh, at this point uh, a little burnout. I have a little bit of burnout. Um, and uh, I'm I'm gonna have to cancel Arkham Asylum. Um, that sucks. It really does. Uh, I'm gonna have to cancel uh, the gameplay for uh, to end out the year. Um, it's strictly due to I ran out of time to record it in a timely manner, and uh, I'm kind of burnt out on uh, gameplay for the channel. Um, I still have to do uh, the Huskies, and I still uh, I'm gonna start working on the uh, Dallas Aggies here pretty quick. Um, and uh, Arkham Asylum is just one of those things where uh, I can do it whenever. It's not like a time crunch. It's not a, oh, you better do it. You better do it as soon as possible. You better do it as soon as possible. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, Arkham Asylum, I can do any time. Um, and uh, barring what happens with this, uh, this question I have for y'all the day after Halloween, which, by the way, happy Halloween if you guys are watching this on Halloween. Awesome. If you guys are watching this, watching this past Halloween, um, watch this video, uh, October 31st of 2023 and it's happy Halloween again. But regardless, I, uh, am just, uh, yeah, Ar I, Arkham Asylum could be one of those, uh, gameplays I might do for next Halloween, but I asked you guys a question uh, that's going to go up the day after Halloween about uh, what I should do for next next year. So, uh, depending on how that is voted, how you guys vote on that uh, on November 1st and the uh, two weeks following, um, I um, know what I'm going to play. Um, if you guys choose what I think you're going to choose, um, I will definitely play that. Um, if you don't choose it, then I already have Arkham Asylum waiting in the wings. Um, because that's kind of a spooky game. It's kind of a horror survival type of Batman game, which I mean, that's kind of cool. Like that's a concept that like nobody thought of. And then Rockstar was like, oh yeah, this is kind of like a Batman horror survival game. Uh, because it's, it's pretty dark. It's pretty brutal. Um, and it's awesome, awesome game. And the Arkham series is awesome. Uh, all four of them that I, I've played, uh, very well done games. All of them have a, their own little special place in my heart. And uh, I will not be playing Arkham Knights. Um, a Batman game should have Batman in it. And that's just how I feel. Uh, that's just how, how I feel. I could be wrong, but who knows. But uh, that being said, yeah, definitely. Um, unfortunately, I do apologize. I do have to cancel Arkham Asylum. Um, but the last two episodes of Jesus Christ. I went straight and my tire went left. Um, but uh, that being said, the last two installments of Saw are being released tomorrow. So happy Saturday if you're watching this on Saturday. Um, and on Monday night for Halloween. So th that, that'll be the end of the, the Saw saga um, until now, uh, for now. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to uh, the rest of the... Uh, the stuff that I have planned for the future, um, I just have to take a break on the gameplay because um, next year is going to be another heavy gameplay um, year with uh, Pokemon and Grand Theft Auto, uh, San Andreas, uh, the Aggies, the Huskies, um, and uh, the Halloween game that you guys will vote on. Um, so uh, I think what what that means is. The series that I play for Halloween, I think going forward might be, that'll be the, it for the year. That'll be it for that year. And uh, then uh, I'll just pick up the next year. And uh, it doesn't always have to be a horror game. I do have it planned, uh, the, the horror games 
Uh, the order depends on y'all, but the, the, the games that I have in mind, I definitely uh, already have in play. Uh, no pun intended, play on work. <laughs> um, and I'm um, just excited about that. But uh, if I'm sounding too somber and too, like, you know, low, it's just because I'm tired, guys. I am enjoying my life right now. I'm enjoying the channel. I'm enjoying you guys. I'm enjoying TikTok. And I mean, I just, I'm having a, I'm, I'm, I have a great life. I always preach about, uh, you know, being the best version of yourself and uh, doing what makes you feel good, doing what your life, um, the way that you want it to be, um, how you want your life to be. And uh, that is that is on you. That is how you um, you feel. And that is how you should reflect. That is the way that you should do it. Um, it starts with you. Um, for those of you that, that uh, have the opinion of everybody around you before the opinion of yourself, um, you got to quit that shit. Um, you got to, you got to like focus on you. How does it make you feel? How does it, how does it coagulate with your feelings in your life and stuff like that? How does it make you feel? Um, it's nice to, you know, how does this make my friend feel? How does it make my, you know, my boss feel? How does it, do? that's cool and all, but you got to put yourself first in some fashion, um, with your life. That's just how I feel. Um, I feel that, uh, you need to focus like Cat Williams said, you got to focus on your number one player. You got to focus on your star player and that's you. Um, uh, have that mama, mamba mentality, have that Michael Jordan mentality, um, TB12 method, whatever you want to use. Um, just focus on that, and then everything else will fall as it should. Pieces will fall in place as they should. And I uh, just wanted to give you guys that little nugget once again, uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, um, for those of you that think uh, that I need to be uh, digging uh, sewer pipes instead of doing uh, videos on YouTube. Hi, welcome, how you doing? Um, I did have a, another run-in with a nice girl yesterday. Um, for those of you that don't know what nice girl is, it's uh, those bots on Snapchat that are like, hey, you're so sexy, I just wanted to talk to you. Just click on this link and then we'll talk. And God, you're sexy and let's have some fun and everything. And then it's just a website where, you know, you're paying for porn, basically, which, uh, don't people know that's free? <laughs> In the United States of America, God bless the USA, pornography is usually free. If you pay for it, okay, that's fine. But there are a lot of outlets out there where you can get it for free. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? That's all I got to say about that. But regardless, uh, yeah, I had another run, run in and I told her, I'm like, oh, baby, I would, but I just... Uh, I'm about to have a procedure where uh, this guy said that he was going to give me a blood infusion to where it was going to give me x-ray vision as well as night vision. And uh, all I had to do when I met this guy in the back of a Wendy's drive through was uh, give him a $25 iTunes gift card and my social security number. And he, he had it. He was, he was going to have it ready to go for me. And, uh, I did get one person, I posted it on Facebook and a few places, and I did get one person that was like, man, imagine wasting your time on a thought bot. I was like, yeah, I feel really sorry for the people that do that. And like, no, nah, man, I feel sorry for you because you actually think this is a human and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, no, no, trust me. I know these are bots and uh, I know that they're fake. Uh, I just have my 30 seconds of, of fun time and then uh, that I'm good to go. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I know they're fake and I get these all the time. I actually have one sitting in my inbox right now on Snapchat that I haven't replied to yet. So I got another one on the way. Um, I love it when they have like first names for their, or their first and last name, like, uh, Lauren Ashley or, uh, you know, Amanda, uh, like Amanda Julia or like, uh, you know, Portia. Brittany, you know, or whatever. It's just like, <laughs> okay, okay, weird names, but okay, you got it. Um, that being said, guys, uh, that's all I have for you. I'm at home now. Um, I'm sitting at 15 minutes right now. So uh, that's, that's all I have to say about that. 
um, do better next time. Uh, I'm just tired. I'm not, you know, pissed off. I'm not, you know, upset about anything. I'm just really tired. And uh, we got pumpkins. <laughs> I, just, I just saw we have pumpkins on the front porch. Those have been there. Those have not fucking been there. We have pumpkins. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little, my, remember my little piglets calling Port Shop. Love you all the most. I'll take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.